I actually met Robbie first. Um, I met Robbie at Lily Allen's 21st birthday party. Uh, we were sat next to each other and oh, got on like a house on fire. It's fantastic. And then a few months later, he was DJing, and there beside him was this beautiful little creature, which um, oh, I was amazing. He just met Mary, and that you could tell it was forever. <laughs> she actually came to my uh, my my first Paris show. Um, that's when it all really started. She came backstage with Jamie Winston in tears, saying it was the best show she'd ever seen, and. Uh, would I make her wedding dress? <laughs> the first thing I said was, no, I'm not doing another one. I had vowed I would never make a wedding dress again. But eventually, you know, I couldn't say no. I mean, she's so gorgeous. She came to the studio and uh, we discussed how it was going to evolve. She'd seen something in the show. It was a cat suit that uh, she just imagined would be the perfect theme for her uh, wedding dress to be like based on. She wanted a dress version, so there was actually another dress in that collection that was a full length fitted long uh, white PVC dress and she loved the shape of that. So that was the idea that we, we started with. Then she started having changes. Uh, she decided that she would like uh, um, something more of a vintage feel. So I researched some more fabrics. And then she said, Pam, I, I, I want it to be really sexy. She'd asked her father and he'd say, yes, you can have it as sexy as you like. <laughs> so that was where we, we, we went on another journey there. And she sent me more and more images of things that she saw. And it was getting further and further away from the original concept. A lot of the dresses that she sent were quite sheer in places and, and just loads of frills. And I was thinking, I've got something just like that. <laughs> the biggest challenge was really her size. She's so tiny. Um, and uh, not having a mannequin her size to work on was really quite difficult. I mean, I'm totally self-taught in fashion. So when I'm doing a pattern, it takes me a long time to work it out. Everything I've ever made, I've made on myself. Um, just extend it for models. But in Mary's case, it wasn't just a case of making it smaller. Mary is like a little doll. I mean, her body is about that much <laughs> smaller than mine in length. I had to start redesigning it in a certain way to actually fit Mary and be more suitable for Mary's body. I didn't really realise as well how much more difficult it would be trying to make a doll size dress that was actually full of hundreds of panels. Because the girl who wore the dress in the show was uh, um, 5'11", and Mary's 5'2", I think. <laughs> so I did it all blind in the end. I had mountains and mountains of frills. We thought it was going to take about six weeks, and in actual fact, it took about six months. It was amazing just, you know, to see her walk down properly with her father and, and uh, just, you know, the looks on people's faces, are all, which was, you know, you could hear everyone saying how, you know, beautiful she looked. And, and yeah, so made it all worthwhile. 